channel i'm so excited like gosh finally i've hit we have hit 2000 subscribers man guys how did you do it <laughs> i just went to check oh, and i found out that we were we we're already 500 five uh, sorry 2000 subscribers and i was really shocked thank you guys thank you so much for your support so far and i hope my tutorials have been helpful to a very large extent so um in this video we're going to be talking about how to make use of these these are the tiniest um crochet um latch hook crochet needle whatever you can ever get so i imported a lot of this because i've noticed that a lot of you guys don't know how to use ventilating needles some of you are just not patient enough to use it so each of this is going for us i'm going to sell it if you're coming from my youtube like if you're a youtube subscriber i'm going to sell it to you for eight thousand but uh, sorry 800 naira each that's for every single piece 800 but um um, for other people, I'll sell at 1,000 naira. So if you're a subscriber and you're ordering for this, let me know. Just tell me, uh, I mean, I'm, so, I'm one of the subscribers on YouTube and I'll sell this to you for 800 naira. So, um, I think I'm actually the worst YouTuber. Because uh, I rarely do post um, videos. And um, I don't even know if my videos are that fantastic. But, but a few of you that have been learning, and some even sending me say they'll be like, man, I've been I've been watching your videos and guy, I mean you're so good. And I'm very surprised, you know? I'm very, very surprised. So before we get into this tutorial proper, I'm gonna be talking about our next video on how to tint your lace. So um I actually got this lace from AliExpress. I don't know if you guys can see the color. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, I don't know what this camera is showing, but it's actually hold on. Okay, so this lace here is very very bright like it's too light and i used it to make a lot of um, um frontals and full lace and all that for my customers and some of them complained they really complained and um, i had to find a way to tint it you can use your tea i'll link the video in my description box you can use your tea bag that's a lifting tea bag i think I did, I did a video where i used it to tint the lace a lace so i say that i actually got this rich dye to use but it did not work out so you can see, let me place that at the back of my hand, you can see how white, how light this is. But I used, I used, I used wheat dye the normal way they said we should, but it didn't work out for me. Then I tried another, another, another method and yeah, it did work out to a large extent, it tried. And then another method and this is what I got. This is what I got. Okay, I know it's not very fantastic, but this is fair enough to be compared to this. So you guys can see the difference in transparency let me open it up so in my next video i'm going to be talking about how to okay let me place my fingers behind this so you can see the difference now then uh let's let me do this it's actually the same lace but you can see what's happening here mm -hmm. so in the next video i'm going to be showing you guys how to um tint your lace with red dye and then with another secret ingredient i'll be disclosing in my next video so let's jump right into this video First things first, of course, you need your hair, right? So I'm using uh, I'm using a synthetic hair for this. So I'm using a synthetic hair for this video. I don't know if I don't like the shadow I'm getting from this. Let me maybe push this in a little. Okay, guys, this is the hair I'm using. I'm using a synthetic hair. I always use synthetic hairs for my videos. And one of these days, I'll use the regular one. I mean, I'll use human hair. So what you have to do is to get your hairs prepared like so. Then I'm just going to take a little part. I love to use very little. Um, amount of hairs when I'm ventilating to make it faster and to prevent tangling so what you have to do is um, you open up the latch hook like so you can see how it is then you go okay you see how I'm moving in I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing let me zoom closer so I'm actually trying to get I want you guys to see what I'm doing so now like I said earlier you fold your hair as you would normally while ventilating then you pull out some hairs Okay, I've seen people do it like this. I've seen some people wrap it around their finger like so. But this is my method. I don't know, maybe because I use the other type of ventilator needle. Then um, you just pull it out like so. And this is for me to see the strands, the number of the strands I'm going to be picking because I'm going to be working with two. So now, to fix in this, you don't push this way. Because if you push like this, you may end up ripping off the net and you find it very difficult. So now what I'm going to do is... You use this hook here. I don't know if you guys can see. You can see. You use this hook. Then you go in and see if you're trying to hook something. Okay. You see that? Then you pull it out. Then you grab your two strands of hairs. Then you go back in. 
I mean, you, you bring it out, you open it up completely, grab the remaining four strands, hold on, grab the remaining four strands, and then you pull. This isn't my favorite way of ventilating because as you can see, you notice that that hole is, a, is already weak. But if you've tried everything and it's not working for you, this is not really a bad idea. So you hook, like you're trying to hook, then you pull it out. Okay, make sure you're holding on to one, um, a line of net, not more than that. Then you move that way. So you make sure you pass this hook here when you're pushing it out. Make sure you pass this hook here, because if you don't, I'll show you what's going to happen. So now you grab, you grab your two hairs, then you close it up. Okay, guys, open it up completely, grab the remaining two strands, and that is it, you're not. Now, this is what happens when you try, when you don't open up the hook completely. Let's assume it's here. You grab the hair. You can see you didn't open it up completely. You like can see the net that is hooking on this part. I don't know if you guys can see what, what was going on here. So, I'm sorry for my nails. I got some little um, dice things on my fingers. So now, if I try to pull it out, it's going to hook on the net. You see that? And if you force it, it will rip the net. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to pull it out completely so that everything is out. And I'm going to close. And then open it up completely again. Grab the two hairs and then close. This is very easy. So we do it again. One strand, two strands. Open up completely. Close. Open up completely, close. We do it again. Open up completely, grab your two hairs, close. Open up completely, grab your hairs, close. We do it again. So maybe you should learn the song for it to be easier. Sorry guys. Please make sure you don't enhance it as it's open up completely. Grab the two hairs, close. Open up completely, grab the two hairs, close. Okay, read it again. Hook. Okay, open up completely. Okay, now this is three strands. Okay, let's do three strands, right? Grab the three strands, close. Okay, there's one coming here. Okay, close. Grab the three hairs. Okay, open up completely, grab the three hairs, close. We go again. We keep doing this until we get used to this. So wait. Everybody must learn. Once you're a subscriber and you're interested in learning how to ventilate, you must learn. So we go again. Grab, open up completely. Grab two hairs. Close. Open up completely. Grab two hairs. Close. We go again. Hook. Open up completely. Okay. Grab two hairs. Close. Open up completely. Grab two hairs, close. So how many have we done now? So the last one. So no, let's start. Hook, open up completely. Now if you're doing three strands, grab three strands, close, open up completely, completely. Grab the remaining, that's a total of six now. Close, and that is it. So this is what we have. So you can actually use this to ventilate. Although it's, uh, it's may tear your net, if you're not careful, if it may rip it off, if you're not careful, but then it is possible. So, like I said earlier, each of this is going for 800 naira for every, for, in, um, for my subscribers, my YouTube subscribers that may be interested in buying this. And then, for people that are not my subscribers, I'll sell it to you at 1000 naira each. So we have a lot of this. So if you're a distributor, you can even buy a whole set. Okay, so you can call me on the number on the screen and we'll talk more and I'll tell you how much I'll sell the whole set. The whole set contains 10. Okay, yeah. then we have a whole lot of this type of ventilating needles and we have a lot of them in here. So if you want to buy this, I've sold about 10 of them and then we still have new ones. So if you want to buy this, you go ahead and send me a message or you can call me on the phone and I'll send it to you. Man, guys, I can't wait for the next video. It will be fun, like, it will be fun. You'll learn how to tint your lace to your color without using foundation or powder. Although you may still have to use it for it to be your exact skin skin color. But aside that, I'm going to show you how to use this. I mean, some um, uncommon methods to achieve 
um, some level of tinting for your lace, the lace you use in wig making. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and um, if you have any questions, do drop in the comment section below. I love you guys and um, take care of yourself and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!